Google just released the Android 15 Developer Preview 2 update and this time around there are some genuinely useful additions. Admittedly, the first preview was pretty light on content, but with today's update, we finally get to see what Google has in store for future versions of Android and in this video, we're going to take a quick look. Before we do though, we always love to give out wallpapers when we can to celebrate new Android versions and today we have two Android 15 themed wallpapers to give away. We have one light version and one dark with the Android mascot sitting in the center. Personally, I love the look with the different colored hexagons and a clean aesthetic so needless to say, I'm happy to give these out. To get these free wallpapers, just leave a like on this video. Once we get to 3000, we will put a link in the description so if we aren't there yet, just check back later. And while you're down there, consider subscribing to the channel as we want to do much more of these giveaways in the future. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look at everything new in Android 15 starting with the biggest user facing changes first and one worth mentioning is a new audio sharing menu. You can find this within the connected devices page where you have a toggle to enable the function alongside the ability to play a test sound. Below that there are some streaming settings that are empty for the time being but will probably be fleshed out as updates continue. We did try testing out the feature but at this moment the toggle disables whenever you leave the settings page so keep an eye on the 9 to 5 website for when we do have an update. Another big change is the ability to archive downloaded apps to your device in order to save some extra space. This is located in the app info page where the open app button used to be and tapping on it will prompt a small notification letting you know it's archived. In this state, archived apps will appear grayed out on the home screen and can be redownloaded from the Play Store just by tapping on the icon. The last major change is a high quality toggle for the use your pixel as a webcam feature. This was originally introduced in an Android 14 update, but now in Android 15, you have another level of control. In our brief testing, the high quality function does produce video that's a bit brighter and a little sharper. So for those that use their pixel device as a webcam, you should enjoy the extra boost. We also got a few small aesthetic changes as well in developer preview too, but nothing crazy. In the app drawer, the single line divider is replaced with text labeled as all apps and on the lock screen there's bigger bolder text at the top of the screen when entering your pin. We also have a minor addition from QPR3 with the passwords, passkeys, and autofill text showing in the settings page. Now that we covered all the user facing changes, let's talk about some of the more technical aspects developers should be able to take advantage of in Android 15. One interesting feature is for developers to declare their apps compatible with the cover screen on flippable devices. As they become more mainstream, it only makes sense Google would start offering this and should hopefully help improve compatibility and usability on these newer devices. Another major area of focus is satellite connectivity. We've heard a lot about it over the years, but in Android 15, 15, you will now see a new status bar icon when in use, along with a notification featuring shortcuts for messaging and information on how it works. Additionally, apps like SMS, MMS, and RCS messaging will be able to leverage the satellite connection feature as well. For a smoother user experience, developers will also have new tools to analyze app startup times. Without getting too deep, it appears you can now keep track of whether an app launches in a cold, warm, or hot state while also finding out if the app was started from various outlets. This should help identify and fix bottlenecks while potentially leading to faster app launches for everyone, so it sounds like a good change to say the least. Android 15 does include a few more options like the ability to detect if an app is being screen recorded and potentially notify the user, while also bringing improvements to NFC for more seamless tap to pay transactions. Finally, Developer Preview 2 does include an early look at upcoming PDF improvements where apps will be able to incorporate password protected files, annotations, form editing, search, selection with copy, and much more. So those are the major developer focus features, but there are a few more that are a bit technical for the scope of this video, but I will leave a link in the description for the full change log. Before we get out of here, I did want to cover some last minute housekeeping items. If you do want to install Android 15, we have a guide on the 9 to 5 Google website and I will leave a link in the description. I probably wouldn't install it at this point because there isn't a lot that's new on the user facing end, but if so, keep in mind you'll have to use the Android flash tool as OTA side loading has been disabled. And guys, I know 
there weren't a lot of user facing changes, but the developer focused features get me really excited about what's to come in future versions of Android. Personally, any tools that help developers get things done easier are wins in my book, so I'm hoping they'll be able to take advantage of them by the time Android 15 stable rolls around. Either way, leave a comment and let me know what you think of developer preview too. Are these updates enough to keep Android competitive this year and are there any future changes you're still hoping for? Leave a comment and let me know, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.